Today on BladeHQ.com, we're taking a look at the CRKT Ripple, designed by Ken Onion, a little collaboration between them. This is an awesome little knife. Someone wanted to see the bronze one, so I figured I'd just pull as many as we had in stock and show you just as many as I could. So this is the bronze one. I've got a black one that I'm gonna spend, well, I'll spend most of my time on the bronze one, actually. Black one, I've got a blue one sitting here. They are very cool, very cool design. I also pulled the Ripple 2, two off. So I just want to give you a comprehensive look at the Ripple designed by Ken Onion, produced by CRKT. And I just kind of give you an idea of what this knife is all about. So I've got several different makes and models. This is the thing you need to know about this blade in particular. The Ripple has, oh, probably like seven or eight variations. I don't know exactly. This one is the bronze version, runs for $100. On the other hand, this one right here is actually a Ripple 2, but you get the idea, is a $31.50 version of the same knife. Smaller, you can kind of see the size comparison between them. Let me open them up. All of them have the IKBS ball bearing system in them, which I think is pretty darn cool. Makes that opening really smooth. You can kind of see the size comparison between the Ripple and the Ripple 2. Overall length on the Ripple is seven and a half inches, whereas the Ripple 2 is, oh, I don't know, let me check it here. That's why we have a computer in here, right? Overall length on that one is six and a half inches. So you lose just one inch. Blade length is 2.7 inches on the Ripple 2, whereas the regular Ripple is 3.1. So just depending on blade size, that sort of thing, let me show you a hand shot. There's the Ripple regular ripple and the two so not as much real estate in the blade but uh, still a very nice knife by the way this one also this is like a pseudo ripple let me just make sure i'm getting all of this right this 30 let's see this one runs for 31 dollars and 50 cents it has the number on this one is 410 kxp so basically the same design it actually has a liner lock, whereas the real Ripple is the frame lock. So, and it doesn't have the IKBS ball bearing system in it. I lied to you on that one. I'm just modifying that. 8CR14 CR MOV steel on this one, whereas this one has 440C stainless steel. And this is a first production run on this one as well. So, kind of see the design. This one obviously is a little bit cheaper. Uh, a lot cheaper, $70 cheaper, but uh, they give you options. That's one thing I like about CRKT in, a, in particular, is if you don't have a hundred bucks to drop on the bronze version, they've given you a $32 version. So you can get the same great design just at a lower price. So uh, I'm just gonna run through the specs and then show you as many of these as I can. I've got the blue one, I like this blue one. You can kind of see the vari various patterns on here. This blue one kind of has more of a wave pattern, CNC machine into that handle. Whereas this one is more of a, I don't know, sandstone pattern is what I'm gonna call it. So they've really taken this design and they've modified it in several different ways. And the overall result is awesome. I'm honestly, like a lot of CRKT knives are really bulky to me and I would probably not carry them. This one just feels great. It's slimmer than my uh, Benchmade Griptilian that I typically carry, um, Benchmade Mini Grip. This is a 0.33 inch, whereas the Mini Griptilian, 0.49. This just feels slim. It feels slick. That IKBS ball bearing system in there makes that pivot just fly right out of there. It is a flipper, not spring assisted. Manual action here. That flipper just doesn't have much, no, no jimping on it or anything but it just flies out of there very nicely. Good detent on it. Let me show you the detent there. Modified drop point blade on it. Very cool offering from CRKT and Ken Onion. Love that IKBS ball bearing system on there. It is a frame lock and the cool thing about it is that you can hardly even see the seam there where that frame lock is, is sitting. So it just makes it really nice there. The pocket clip on it is removable, tip down carry only. I know some guys aren't a huge fan of that. 
blade centering on this one is spot on in a nice spot. Perfect centering. Great little blade. Like I said, this is a first production run. Uh, what else do we want to know? Oh, there's a lot of details on our website. Go and read the whole description because I can't hit all of them here. One thing I did notice, I like this attention to detail. They've kind of got this swedge here on this one. Nice little swedge. As well, I was looking at, uh, what was this one? It was this one here. And I don't even know, this is the K40, K405 KXS. So partially serrated version, but they've got the bevel on this one, on that back edge. So just some nice attention to detail that you can see on these different blades. Each one is kind of unique. Each model has its own little features that they've taken time to look at and to do. Uh, let me show you a couple other models. I showed you, the, showed you the blue one a second ago. Let me just keep them in order. I like the color on this one. Kind of an aquamarine look and feel to it. Again, that IKBS ball bearing system. And it works really well. You kind of got to warm up to it a little bit. But it works excellently. You guys know if you miss that flipper, sometimes it doesn't work perfectly, but... I love that. And this one actually has jimping on the flipper as well. Just kind of looking. Some do, some don't. Yeah, just kind of, these blue ones have that jimping on there. More jimping. Like those bolsters on the back. I like how they, how they put those together. Very nice look to this blade. So if you're into a, kind of the smaller version, also a great little offering. And they've got a whole lot of different styles. That's the thing I like, is if you wanna spend $30 to buy this knife, there's an option there. If you wanna spend $80, you can. This one in particular is a Ripple 2. The price on this one is 95 bucks. Why? 440 stainless steel on it. Uh, what else would make it that expensive? Uh, gray titanium nitride coated steel frame on this one. So. Just different models, different strokes for different folks, however much you want to spend. Uh, what else? We got a black one here, kind of a distressed look, pocket-worn look that they've put on there. The pattern, like that CNC machined. Just kind of get, trying to give you an idea of everything all at once. And I don't even know what I've got here on the table. Partially serrated, and I believe this is, let me make sure. I don't know what kind of serrations these are. VEF serrations, I thought that's what it was, but I wanted to make sure. The VEF serrations right there on this one. So, the weight on this blade is 3.1 ounces, super light. That's the thing I like, super slim, super light, very nice little blade. Let me show you a comparison with a tactical clothespin. Give you a size comparison there. This is the regular ripple compared to the smaller ripple compared to a griptilian. So the Ripple 2 is about the size of the, the Benchmade griptilian. Mini griptilian, excuse me. Let me just show you this here, size comparison wise. About the same size. So just depends on what you're looking for. These are very cool blades and honestly this is the kind of knife I would carry personally. Just very slim, nice look to it. Uh, it would function as a gentleman's folder if that's how you wanted to roll with it. Just doesn't have that huge tactical look to it. Very nice little blade. A lot of different price points on it. So if you're interested, this is the one to buy at bladehq.com. And uh, that's the place to buy it. Buy it now.